Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to share product details with Facebook lead ads leads via Gmail. So I'm an owner of an e-commerce store and I promote my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. I want that as soon as any of my customers generates a new lead with the help of Facebook lead ads, I want to send them, I want to share the product details of my business via Gmail to them. And if I'm going to do this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation by using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software, which requires no programming and coding skills in order to create an automation. So in this automation, what is going to happen that as soon as a new lead is going to be generated with the help of Facebook lead ads by any of our customers, automatically to them on their Gmail account and email should be forwarded regarding sharing the product details of our business. For that, we're going to create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. So welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to understand how to share product details with Facebook lead ads leads via Gmail. So I am an owner of an e-commerce business and I promote my business with the help of Facebook lead ads campaign to capture the interest of my potential customers. When a user fills out the lead form expressing the interest, this automation should automatically send them an email on their Gmail account with detailed information about the product that I'm selling in my business. This timely and personalized communication not only keeps the lead engaged, but also provides them with all the necessary details to make an informed purchasing decision. By automating this process, you can ensure that every lead is promptly nurtured, significantly boosting your chances of turning them into loyal customers. So we are going to create this amazing automation by using Pabli Connect. So you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on the top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. I'm going to give a name to my workflow as share product details with Facebook lead ads leads via Gmail. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Okay. After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this arrow. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select Facebook lead ads automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving my name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of share product details with Facebook lead ads leads via Gmail and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, they can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow. And for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Facebook lead ads. We are selecting our trigger application as Facebook lead ads. As for my business, I'm promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. So that is why for the trigger application, I'm going to select as Facebook lead ads. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select as new lead instant. That means whenever a new lead is going to be generated by any of our customers by using Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly Public Connect should capture the response. Then to connect Facebook lead ads to Public Connect, click on this connect button. A new window is going to appear on which click on add to connection but if you want you can select the existing connection. After that it says connect with Facebook lead ads so we are going to click on this button. But remember before connecting Pabli Connect and Facebook lead ads remember to log into your Facebook account beforehand on a new tab so that creating a connection between Pabli Connect and Facebook lead ads can be very easy. After that I am going to click on connect with Facebook lead ads button. As you can see, that we successfully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. 
After authorizing, it is asking for us to select the page and the lead gen form. For the page, we need to select the page with the help of which we are going to run our lead ads form. So I've created a page in my Facebook account in the name of Natural Grow Skin. So this is the name of my business. I'm an owner of a skincare business, okay? So I've created a page for my business over here and on this page, I will be running my Facebook lead ads. So what I'm going to do is for the page over here, I'm going to select it as Natural Glow Skin Care, okay? After selecting the page, it is asking for us to select a lead gen form. The lead gen form is the lead ads form that you have created with the help of Facebook lead ads. So with the lead gen form, I'm going to select my form as new lead form because this is the form that I've created. With the help of this form, all of my leads are going to submit their lead information. Okay. After selecting the page and the lead gen form, over here it says save and send test request. We're going to click on this button. As we're going to click on this button, you can see over here it says waiting for webhook response. Over here, as now it is saying waiting for webhook response, what we have to do is we have, we have to generate a test lead. And how are we going to generate the test lead with the help of the lead ads testing tool? You can see this is the lead ads testing tool. With the help of this tool, we are going to generate a test lead. If you want to learn how to have the access of this page, then you can check out our YouTube channel, okay? So this is the lead ads testing tool. Over here, it is asking for us to select the page. For the page over here, I am going to select my page that I have created. That is Natural Glow Skin Care. So I have selected the page. For the form, I am going to select the lead ad form that is new lead form after that way it says preview form we're going to click on this button so as you can see that this is the form that i've created using facebook lead ads to collect my customers details it is asking for the first name last name email and the phone number of our customer we're going to fill in the detail for the first name over here i'm going to write it as test for the last name over here i'm going to write it as account for the email over here i'm going to write it as test account at the rate pabitudes.com and for the phone number i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after filling all the details, I'm going to click on continue and then on submit to do the test submission. As it says, your lead has been sent. This means we successfully generated the test lead. Now I'm going to open my workflow and I'm going to scroll down. As you've generated a test lead over here, you can see a response has also been captured. For the first name of the response being test, last name as account, email as test account at the rate pabletudes.com for the phone number, dummy mobile number and all the other required details. So this means that Facebook lead ads is now successfully connected with Pabli Connect and a trigger setup is done. So now whenever a new lead is going to be generated by any of our customers by using Facebook lead ads, Ads, automatically and instantly public and it is going to capture the response of the lead being generated as now we have the response of the lead being generated we want to send them an email with the product catalog of our business so that they can have the product details via gmail so what we're going to do is we're going to set up our action step and for the action application over here i'm going to select it as gmail so i'm going to select my action application over here as gmail and for the action event over here, I'm going to select, select it as send email v1, okay? And then I'm going to click on connect to connect Gmail with Pabli Connect. A new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, it says connect with Gmail. We're going to click on it. Then a new window is going to appear which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow. As the save process in my data is perfectly saved with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on this allow button. As you can see that we successfully authorized Gmail to Pabli Connect. After authorizing, it is asking for us to select the recipient email address. The recipient email address is the email address on which we want to send our product catalog, our business product catalog to. For the recipient email address, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How mapping works is as soon as you to click on this field, it says Facebook lead ads new lead instant. This was the previous step of this workflow. As soon as you click on it, you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As over here, we require the customer's email of done the lead generation. This is the response of the email of our customers. So I'm going to select the response from my previous step. As I've selected the data, the data is mapped and as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here in place of this mapped data is going to be updated. Okay. After mapping the recipient email address, it is asking for the CC and the BCC. I'm going to skip the part as I don't require the field. Okay. Next, it is asking for the sender name. So as the name of my business is natural glow skin care. So for the sender's name over here, I'm going to write it as team natural glow skincare so this is the name sender's name right over here that i want to give if you want you can give a name to your sender according to your requirement next it is asking for the email subject the subject of the email that is going to be forwarded to our customers so for the email subject 
I'm going to give it as. So this is the subject of my email. Discover the best of natural glow skin care. So this is the subject of my email right over here. Okay. Next, it is asking for the reply to. I'm going to skip the part as I don't require the field. It is asking for the email content type. Next, I'm going to select it as plain right over here as the email content that I'm going to write it is in plain type. Next, it is asking for the email content. This is the main body of our email that we are going to send to our customers. So, for the email content over here, I am going to write it as. So, this is the email content that I have written. That is dear. Next to dear, I am on the name of my customer. So, what I am going to do is I am going to map the data of the name of my customer. That is first name, says the last name. Thank you for your interest in natural glow skincare. We are thrilled to have you on board and can't wait to help you achieve your skincare goals. As a token of appreciation, we are excited to share our exclusive product catalog with you. Inside, you will find wide range of skincare product designed to nourish, rejuvenate, and enhance your natural. Beauty attached to this email is your product catalog. We hope to find the perfect products to meet your skincare needs. If you have any question or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at our customer support team at naturalgrowskincare@example.com or call us at this number. Thank you once again for choosing Natural Grow Skincare. We look forward to helping you achieve radiant and healthy skin. Thank you. Regards, Team Natural Grow Skincare. So this is the email that I want to send to my customer right over here. After that, it is asking for the file name. For the file name, the attached file that is going to be with this email. So for the file name over here, I am going to give it as product catalog dot pdf. So this is the file name right over here. Okay. Next, it is asking for the attachment. For the attachment, we have to provide the URL that is going to be forwarded with this email. So for the URL in my WordPress account, I have created a media that I want to send to my customer. So this is the PDF product catalog right over here that I want to send to my customer. I've created this in my WordPress account. I want to send this catalog to my customers on their email as an attachment. So where from these options it says copy URL. So I'm going to copy this URL from here and I'm going to paste the URL over here in the attachment field right over here as this is the file that I want to send. Okay. I'm going to show you the file before click on save and send test request button so this is the product catalog that i've created for my business and i want to share this catalog with my customers okay so this is the product catalog that i've created i've attached that catalog right over here and after filling all the necessary details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button as I've done that, you can see we've received the response and the, for the result status over here, it says as sent. That means a Gmail has now been forwarded to the customer who have generated the new lead. So now I'm going to open a Gmail account and I'm going to check whether I have received a new email or not with the attachment of the product catalog or not. For that, I'm going to open my Gmail account. And yes, you can see right over here, I've received a new email in my Gmail account that says discover the best of natural glow skin care. It says dear test account this is the name of my customer I've generated a lead. And with the email, you can see an attachment is also there of a file. I'm going to open this and this is the same product catalog of our business that is attached to this email right over here. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a business and I promote my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. I wanted to share product details, product catalog with all of my customers who are going to generate the new lead with the help of Facebook lead ads. And for that, I've created this amazing automation between Facebook lead ads and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.